I literally woke up every single morning with a smile on my face, excited to go back to work. But still, there was something missing. I knew I wanted something more. And here we are. Hi, my name is Carly Mink, founder and CEO of 11th Hour, and this is my story. Early as the last hour, Carly. You got What to does stuff. 11th Hour mean to me? Oh my God, that question. First of all, 11th hour means at the last moment, before it's too late. It's the last hour before the sun goes down. And I work best in the 11th hour, under pressure, go time. It's time to kill it. When I only have a short amount of time left, I, I work best. So it was a no brainer to me that this brand should be called 11th hour. <laughs> okay, so what type of brand is right. it? So what type of brand is it? I know a lot of you have been wondering, and I'm so sorry for putting out all these teasers these past couple months and not letting you guys know exactly what it was. And trust me, I've been wanting to. I've been basically dying inside, keeping a big secret. Um, some of you guys have guessed, and I loved all your guesses. It was a lifestyle blog, um, fitness, fashion, and the whole I will probably get to those one day. I'm so, so, so excited to announce that I'm finally launching the brand of my dreams, and it's a sunglass brand. So, my sunglasses. I actually worked in the sunglass industry for the past few years. So, I worked in a wholesaler, and what that means is I was the middleman between um, the retailers and the factories or the production team. So, we were huge in terms of who we sold to. I'm talking... Nordstrom, JCPenney, Walmart, the list goes on and on, Victoria's Secret, the list goes on and on and on. But we were so tiny in terms of employee count, which was a blessing and a curse at the time, and I am so grateful for what I learned, but I did everything from A to Z. I was able to learn about order processing. I was able to learn about how sunglasses were made and developed and designed. I was able to fly out to customers on my own and to meet with top, top people in the industry. I learned so much and I loved what I did. Like I, I can't even express how much I loved what I did. I was excited for work every single morning. I, yeah, the commute was a little bummer, but besides that, everything else was seamless. It was a, a very great experience, but there was still something missing. There was one thing missing and I didn't know what it was. And here we are. I think I found it. <laughs> <laughs> did I say it all? How did I know it was my time? I just honestly knew. I knew I was destined for so much more. It's so weird and cliche to say, but I really, really did. I unfortunately knew that my previous company didn't really believe in me the way I believed in myself. And you could get down on yourself at times, but instead I kind of took that and fueled my own fire and realized there is so much more for me to do. I wanted to help people. I knew I was so passionately obsessive with sunglasses. It was just, there was something greater out there and I was not going to let it slip. There was no possible way I could let this feeling slip. Did my parents approve? No, they did not approve. How could they? Would yours? No, I'm kidding. Um, but no, they didn't. And I feel like it was obvious they weren't going to in the beginning because I just come home one day and I said, I'm quitting my job, the job that I love, the job that I get an income from, and I don't know what's next. But I know there's something more. What does that sound like to a parent? I feel like they thought I was absolutely crazy. I've had these thoughts before and they just didn't approve. But after a few months of me following my dreams, literally at 100 miles an hour, I was working like overtime. They're like, okay, I think uh, she's onto something. Then they quickly became my biggest supporters. They are the best. They help me where they can. And to the point I even joked to my dad that he's my intern. He'll, I'll email him a few times. He'll get my mail for me. He'll, he's been on business meetings with me. Literally, he hasn't been anything but the greatest now. So, thank you, mom and dad. Did I find out? Blah, 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 blah. Did I financially prepare for this, or how did I financially prepare for this? Funny thing, when I didn't, I didn't expect this. I didn't know this was going to be in my future but I just rolled with the punches. I basically depleted all my savings, which is scary, so, so scary, but you gotta do what you gotta do. And I was actually fortunate enough to be able to take out a business loan to help me get started. 
It's so unfortunate because I know so many businesses fail before they even get started and I would hate to have that be the reason, like finances be the reason that you can't succeed. Because honestly, where there's a will, there's a way. You always will find a way to get where you want to be. There's always a way. I'm, I'm living, I'm breathing, I'm laughing, I'm here, and we're going to do it, fam. We're going to do it. <laughs> you know what's funny? Like, what's annoying, though? Like, I need to be like that because that's who I am. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But are the designs unique? And yes, they are. I worked with what I had. I am no designer. I honestly pulled inspiration from all over. I pulled inspiration from movies. I pulled inspiration from magazines, Pinterest. And I had a vision in my mind and would literally go on paint and paint the edges, like the app paint. I would paint the edges of where I want something more square, where I wanted something more cat eye. I would direct notes to a square or to the bottom part or the top part and say, please make this more round, please make this more square. That's how I worked at the factories and I'm blessed and lucky enough that that's something they did for me. Of course, in the future, I want them severely different and I want them to um, be able to create my own designs, but obviously that'll come, but this is what I'm working with, and yeah, so to answer that, everything is touched by me. It was seriously designed and visualized by myself. In your hand? This? Yeah. You want those? The buttons. The, uh, the, the closure. Close. That, right, that, 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 that. Could we change that to gold? Okay, so I stopped what I was doing real quick and I thought that I could just take you through the process right now of what I am doing to do um, my finalized samples. So I'm actually putting together the lenses with the acetate, with the correct acetate, um, colors so you can see like right here we have two different acetate colors and this is literally the swatch i chose from from the factories originally which i think i'm going with this one a little lighter especially for summer so here are some of the struggles that i go through i would say on a day-to-day basis or at least what i've been having the most troubles with being my own boss i would say the first one is prioritizing when you have a list that's this long and everything seems just as important as the next task, you don't know where to begin. So I actually started recently, every single day, I would make a new to-do list and the top three things that I knew I had to get done, I'd be able to do and make sure I was able to do, I would put them on top of my list. It's such a shitty feeling when you have a list that's 10, 20, 30 tasks long and you get one thing done, two things done. I think it honestly does the reverse effect. So, yeah, I just started doing that, but prioritizing was definitely one of my biggest problems and probably still is. And the next obstacle I would say going through is learning how to say no to my friends. I'm a 26-year-old girl. As much as they support me and I thank them every single day, they don't really know that, one, I'm not getting an income. I would love to be there with them, but I can't. I have to say no to some things that most 26-year-olds wouldn't say no to. And I'm having trouble learning that, but I'm finally grasping it that, like, for example, I couldn't go to Greece this summer with my friends. Obviously, one, I'm just launching a brand. I can't just poof and, and leave. But two, I don't have the money to do that right now. Yes, will I have that in a few years? Yes. But right now, I feel like it was learning how to say no to some things and being okay with it. That was definitely a struggle, but I'm definitely learning that now. So the best thing I would hands down say about being my own boss and about this journey is the freedom, is I could do whatever I want to do. I could wake up at 12 o'clock in the afternoon if I wanted to. Do I? No. But can I? Yes. I can do a face mask at 2 p.m. in the afternoon, or I could clean my closet on a Wednesday morning if I wanted to. That's the point of what I want to do. I want the freedom. I want to be able to live in a, where I want to, when I want to, with my kids in 10 years. I'm setting my life up so I'm able to live that life. And it's, no lie, the best feeling in the entire world. So, what's one thing I would tell my younger self? 
One thing I would definitely say is to remember that every single thing happens for a reason. And I think that's how it's gotten me this far. You're on the path you're supposed to be on, believe it or not. I know in the moment it's so hard, especially going through a breakup, especially if you get fired from your job. You can't see the light at the end of the tunnel. But if you understand that you are exactly where you needed to be, you wouldn't be elsewhere, then it makes everything more peaceful. When I am starting to have doubts or I'm starting to overthink this process, I know that at the end of the day, I'm supposed to be here. I was supposed to go through that hardship. I'm supposed to go through that obstacle. So just think about that. Have that understanding. I feel like once you fully grasp the meaning of that, things start getting a little easier, a little, little easier. And the second thing I would say is what's for you will not pass you. And that kind of ties into everything happens for a reason. Everything's going to come in your life that's supposed to be in your life and it'll stay. You can't force someone to be in your life. You can't force a job to be in your life. It'll come in, it'll teach you a lesson, and it'll leave. That's the natural progress of life. And those two quotes have literally led me to this far because... I don't know where I'd be if I didn't have that mindset. And I want you all to know that you are where you're supposed to be. You wouldn't be if you were not. And to keep going. Just keep freaking going. Okay. And just keep going. And the last question of it all, because I can't speak, is where do I see 11th hour in five years? That's a crazy freaking question considering I am running before I'm walking. I want my brand to be up to freaking brands I've been in business for 20 years. I need to learn that I'm a startup business. But besides all that, I will be moving into clothing shortly. That's for sure. That'll be my next, my next project. I already have so many ideas for that. Oh my God. So, so, so many ideas for that. Um, what else? I want it to be a brand that everybody confides in. I want it to be a brand that represents quality and high quality woman and confident woman. And I want to be able to leave a mark on you forever. And I don't want you to just go on my site and be shoved down with selling and products. I want you to know that I got you and I'm here for you, and every single day I'm gonna work on becoming a better me, and I want you all to do the same. And, yeah, five years is a very long time for now. For, for now, from now, I literally was still working at my job last year at this time, so I can't even imagine what five years would be. Wow. <laughs> So I just want to say thank you for watching this video. It is seriously so surreal. I can't even explain to you. I can't even get the words out. I realize I am not a public speaker. I'm better if I can just type it and be behind a computer screen, but aren't we all? Every single day I try to step out of my comfort zone and I want you guys to do the same. I am so, so, so freaking excited for you guys to see everything, to come along with this journey with me, to like a better one of you every single day that will make my life oh my god so worthwhile i am so excited to see all my styles on you all my designs i can't wait to get any feedback i this is just crazy who would have thought who would have thought i carly mink would have my own freaking brand in 2019 not me Definitely not me. But again, thank you all for watching, for listening, for hearing me mumble and jumble. And I'll see you guys around. You gotta get money. No, you gotta give money to make money. That's, that's how it goes. You gotta give money. No, you gotta... Spend money to make money. <laughs> that's how it goes. And that's the way. You want to be a doctor, you got to go to med school and take out loans anyway. So it's basically tomato, tomato. <laughs>